Uh, hello, um, if anyone's listening, uh, this is Wayne Holmes here um, from Sydney, uh, who's just started uh, talking about disaster movies, and I just finished, uh, not all that long ago, watching a, a 1979 a US TV movie uh, on YouTube now called uh, Disaster on the Coastliner. Now, the Coastliner is actually, um, I think it's a, a train. And uh, what happens in this movie is a uh, disgruntled employee, ex-employee from the railway company um, involved in, uh, involved in uh, owning these uh, trains, um, he, he, he sort of hijacks one of the trains, uh, but before he does that he, he readjusts uh, the train line so that uh, uh, the two trains, uh, uh, you know, collide. Um, or in his mind, hopefully collide. Uh, yeah, it's a, it, I, I really, really, I think this is probably the best uh, TV movie I've seen on YouTube. I just thought it was really, really good. The drama right throughout is just very good. Um, out of ten, I'd probably give it um, about seven. Um, I'll explain a little later on why I didn't... Uh, give it a 10 out of 10 um, yeah it's uh, William Shatner uh, plays the part of a con man I think he's in the, uh, the character that William Shatner plays is uh, Stuart Peters or Peters Stewart no actually it was Stuart Peters but uh, yeah and he, he's a con man that tries to chat up a, a lady on the train and um, yeah I thought his performance was very good also uh, Lloyd Bridges uh, um, performance is the um, the police officer, I think it was like some sort of law enfor enforcement officer uh, that was in the control room, I thought he was very good and he, he had a line uh, when he saw these people bringing food into the uh, railway station control room, he said, um, do you people always eat in here? I mean, you know, what did Lloyd Bridges' character want these people in the railway control room to starve to death or something? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there is some humour to it, but essentially it's um, it's a it's a you know it's a disaster movie and uh, does that, and what makes a disaster movie is that, you know you got a guy uh, trying to uh, the char one of the characters trying to uh, crash two trains together and in real life um, you know two trains crashing together it's a disaster so yeah. Uh, and William Shatner does his own stunts uh, in this movie, uh, but uh, years later, years later, he said that he regretted doing his own stunts. But uh, I saw some of his stunts; I thought that uh, they were pretty good. And uh, the music in this m movie, yeah, uh, they, 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 that to me left a bit to be desired. Um, it just, it just didn't really make the movie uh, sort of scarier than what it was. And uh, the music was composed by a bloke by the name of Gerald Fried, uh, and he's composed music for the TV show Star Trek and the films uh, The Man from Uncle, and he also did the 19 uh, the music for the 1970s hit um, TV uh, miniseries from the US um, from the 1970s. I think it was released about 1977, called Roots which was, um, I haven't actually seen it, but, you know, it was a thing about, you know, black and white in America. Anyway, yeah, and I, I thought, uh, you know, what really made the movie for me, though, was the tension between uh, Lloyd Bridges' character, like the law enforcement officer, and, you know, and uh, the uh, the guy that normally, uh, sorry, the guy that controls the, uh, the train uh, control room, you know, how they're sort of, you know, having yin and yang and ha about ideas of how to deal with the situation and, you know, Lloyd Bridges' character hating uh, the, tra the train uh, controller room's ideas and, and, and vice versa. And, you know, that's a, you know, in a disaster movie or even or a drama, um, that's a pretty important thing to have. <sighs> Yeah, um, for a telly movie, you know, you know, now before you go saying, oh, it's a telly movie, it's a 1979, well, 
you know, don't let the fact that it's a TV movie put you off. Um, it's available to watch for free on YouTube. Uh, it's it's worth a look. And um, what else is it? Uh, blah, blah. And don't let the fact that it was done in 1979 or that it's like, you know, what, uh, 35 or so years old put you off either. It's, it's um, you know, when you're judging a movie, how long ago it was made really shouldn't even come into it. I must say, though, some of the clothes that some of the characters wore were really, really, particularly William Shatner's character, were really 1970s. Uh, yeah, out of ten, I'll give it um, a seven... Uh, I'll give it seven out of ten. Actually, seven and a half. Um, the reason why I didn't give it seven... Sorry. The reason why I didn't give it ten out of ten is because, you know, both well, William Shatner and Lloyd Bridges, they were in Flying High uh, or Airplane 2. Um, Flying High 2, I, a.k.a. Airplane 2. And uh, Lloyd Bridges was in Flying High, a.k.a. Airplane one and two, so, and that for me, it's, you know, it slightly takes some of the seriousness out of this disaster movie because they're in, uh, one of the, uh, um, Lloyd Bridges was in Flying High one and two, and William Shatner was in Flying High two, and, you know, and that to me just took some of the seriousness now the movie, particularly in reflection, and um, yeah, also Raymond Burr, uh, the guy that played Perry Mason, he was in it. Um, his performance was okay, but uh, I don't think it was as good as either William Shatner's performance or uh, Lloyd Bridges. And you know, Raymond Burr wasn't in the, this particular movie all that much either. And he was also Raymond Burr had a, a briefish appearance in. Um, Airplane 2 and or Flying Eye 2 and um, yeah that took some of the seriousness um, out of his performance in this movie um, yeah that's pretty much sure all I've got to say and some of the, uh, the music uh, was com um, yeah you know it, it just didn't add anything scary to me in this disaster movie so yes um, um Hopefully I'll review another uh, disaster movie or any other movie uh, soon, and I'll uh, and uh, that's it for now. Bye for now.